Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. We recently finished our gameplay as Prime Minister of Spain. We now have to choose a new country the next country on the line is germany germany the federal republic of germany more commonly known as germany is a federal parliamentary republic uniting 16 states under the leadership of the president largely ceremonial and the federal chancellor germany has a strong growing economy which is one of the best in the world germany is a leading member of the european union germany first became a democracy in 1919 but was ruled as a dictator from 1933. After World War II, which ended in 1945, and some years of confusion, it reverted back to a democracy in 1949. The stats of Germany, the population is 83,783,942 as of 2020. The size of Germany is 357,386 square kilometers. Religion, none at 39%. Roman Catholic at 27%, Protestants at 25%, Islam at 5%, exports, vehicles, machinery, chemicals, electronic, pharmaceuticals, metals, and food. World leader of climate and energy policies, number of zoos, and export. Member of the Eurozone, European Union single market, NATO, and G4. Let us see what party the game generates for us. The game has generated the new right party for us. We are going to be changing our color to red. We are going to change the revolutionary capitalist color to green. And the family values party will stay blue. We are the leader of the new right party. Our opposition party are the revolutionary capitalists and the family values party. We are doing compulsory voting. We are in a three-party system. Let us begin our gameplay as Chancellor of Germany. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as Chancellor. Chancellor, the lives of all 83,782,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvements of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you'll need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. At the recent election, your party won with a majority of 10%. This will give you some political power to implement your policy. Policies. Let us begin our first term of our first year. As Chancellor of Germany, we have 14 political capital to spend. We inherited a gridlock problem. Gridlock, chronic congestion leading to virtual paralysis of transport infrastructure. There comes a point when traffic congestion is so bad, nobody can get anywhere. We also inherited antisocial behavior, vandalism, public nuisance, petty street crime. These are all results of antisocial loutish behavior that has become commonplace on our streets, often linked to consumption of alcohol and not helped by insufficient levels of police on the street. Antisocial behavior causes stress for many of our citizens. We also have organized crime. Large organized gangs of serious criminals are now targeting our country. We do not have the resources to deal with them and they are causing serious problems, including higher levels of street crime and violent crime, as well as supplying drugs and guns. We also have alcohol abuse. We have a serious problem problem with people consuming alcohol in large quantities. This is obviously bad for their health, but is also leading to crime and disorder in our cities. We also have internet crime. With our high levels of internet usage and other technological items, we are seeing a sharp rise in internet crimes. Computer viruses that no longer simply break the target's computer, but hide themselves and steal the user's private information until detected, often to steal bank passwords or commit identity fraud, or hijack the computer and use it to perform further crimes that's difficult to trace back to the original source. We also have a respiratory disease, asthma, and other lung diseases are a serious problem amongst our citizens. Not only does this obviously severely impact their quality of life, but it is also reducing our productivity and filling our hospital bed. Poor air quality, possibly caused by factory pollution and car fumes, together with smoking, are likely the causes. We also have obesity. Too many of our citizens are eating badly, possibly due to an abundance of junk food at cheap prices. This will have a knock-on effect for lifespan 
ban and or healthcare costs. We also have environmental protests. There is a widespread movement of environmental protests all over the country, driven by concerns about climate change and pollution. Protesters are disrupting daily life by blocking roads and city centers to draw attention to the cause. We have uncompetitive economy. Our workers' lack of relative productivity and competitiveness is causing our exports to fall and flooding our country with cheap imports made overseas with lower wages, harder working, and more technological savvy employees. This is having a negative effect on our economy as our local companies cannot compete globally. And we are a member of the EU. As one of the wealthier and more economically stable nations in the EU, you pay a net contribution to the EU government to help support the European economy. Congestion charging in many large cities. The number of cars traveling in each day is simply unsustainable. Although a fairly blunt instrument simply charging through number plate recognition every vehicle that enters a city each day has proven to be an effective way to reduce congestion in extreme cases. This is 12% popular with the vote. We are going to implement this policy. We are going to increase this. We will generate 220.81 million euro. We will apply the changes. We have three political capital to spend. We are going to increase our armed police. Arming police officers can be an effective strategy in deterring crime and maintaining order. Opponents would argue that it encourages criminals to use firearms in a criminal arms race. Critics worry that arming the police will distance them from law-abiding citizens. This is 14% popular with the vote. This will address our organized crime, our violent crime, our crime in general, and unemployment. This is going to increase the cost of body cameras. We are going to spend three political capital. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend, and thus we are at the end of our first term of our first year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the second term of our first year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Unemployment is down. On alcohol adverts, there is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There is a proposal for a law to outlaw advertising alcohol on television, although it would remain legal to advertise on radio, billboards, and other means. A TV ban is seen as a potential way to reduce alcohol intake by our citizens. Reject the ban. This law is crazy. Either you have a ban on a product or you do not. Alcohol is perfect perfectly legal and enjoyed by millions of citizens without ill effects. Banning advertising of a product on a particular medium is a token gesture for the anti-alcohol zealots, which does nothing but interfere in the free market. Approved ban. It might not stop alcoholism overnight, but a TV ad ban is a step in the right direction. Advertisers have been increasingly aggressive in their advertising with a worrying tendency toward marketing their products at the youth market. Anything we can do to reduce alcohol consumption is worth trying. We're rejecting the ban. The liberals are happy at play plus 13%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing we have a potentially bad situation. Corporate exit is on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. There is a budget deficit of 11.79 billion euro. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls report. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 14% of the vote in an election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and it is having a positive effect on our GDP. We have 14 political capital to spend. Adult education subsidies. Adult education subsidies are a way to encourage people to retrain and continue their education after they've joined the workforce. This includes evening classes and distance learning resources. These schemes help to raise the overall education level of the workforce. This is 50% popular with the vote. This will increase productivity and education of our workforce. We are going to invest two political capital. We will apply the changes. Science funding. In some countries, the majority of research is funded by private companies. State-sponsored science can be useful for investing in very long-term research projects or those that may not be commercially rewarding. The benefits of state sector research are freely available to the entire population rather than patented by corporations. This is 100% popular with the vote. This will increase our GDP. This will lower our unemployment. We are going to invest two political capital into electron microscopes. We will apply the changes. We have 10 political capital to spend. Solidarity tax, a top-of-income tax that was particular to Germany and which was introduced to help cover the costs associated with a reunification of East and West Germany and the need to upgrade infrastructure throughout East Germany. This is 16% popular with the vote. We are going to spend five political capital. This will affect the wealthy. This will increase the income gain from this tax to 10.67 billion euro. Let us apply the changes. We have five political capital to spend. CCTV cameras. CCTV cameras can be a great help in catching criminals and cameras also deter crime. The installation costs are extremely high and there are concerns about civil rights from people who don't like to feel that the government is constantly watching them. This is 22% popular with the vote. We are going to increase 
is to address our antisocial behavior, our violent crime, and our crime in general. We will spend three political capital to do so. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. GDP, the gross domestic product of your country. This is defined as the total market value of all goods and services produced within the nation in a year. This is a good general purpose measure of the strength of your economy and the nation's overall wealth. One of the contributing factors is the global economic cycle, which tends to be cyclical. As I said, we have an uncompetitive economy. We need to fix our productivity. Productivity, the average output in financial terms of a typical citizen. Some nations have more productive employees than others due to such factors as work ethic, technical knowledge, and workplace hours. Worker safety law, work safety law, often known as health and safety, is a series of measures to ensure employees are not at risk of injury in their day-to-day -day activities. Trade unionists often hail such laws as valuable defense against unscrupulous employers who may put lives at risk. Many business leaders are concerned at the high level of bureaucracy and restrictive practices that can result from such laws, which they see as a burden on business. This is 72% popular with the vote. We are going to invest one political capital to lower this. It will still stay in the medium range. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Welfare fraud department. When the government gives so much money out in welfare payments, is essential that the money is correctly targeted and not exploited by people, making spurious claims. A dedicated fraud department will detect false claimants, recover lost money, reassure middle income taxpayers that their taxes are being spent wisely. Although it can antagonize legitimate payments, this is 64% popular with the vote. We're going to spend one political capital to increase our TV ad campaign. This will increase our income to 366.27 million euro. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we're at the end of our second term of our first year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our third term of our first year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Unemployment is down. Gridlock. The traffic gridlock has now eased and average speeds are faster than a snail's pace again. So commuters and motorists are very relieved. It also means learning how to drive will no longer seem futile to our citizens. Diesel emissions scandal. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. A scandal has been exposed revealing that many of the largest and most prestigious car companies in our country have been blatantly lying about the emissions from their diesel vehicles. In deliberate and very profitable scheme to cheat the official tests, how should the police handle this incredibly high profile case? Lay down the importance of the case. This case is being blown out of proportion. Fines can be issued and the cars can be retested and given revised emission numbers. A few overenthusiastic engineers bent the rules a bit too much and this is hardly anything new. Imprison chief executives if possible. There can be no doubt here that people at the very top of these companies knew exactly what was going on and we have to be 100% clear that here in Germany laws apply equally to everyone. It will not be popular with business owners but to preserve our international reputation we have to make example of these cheats. We're going to imprison the chief executives if possible. The capitalists are unhappy at negative 5%. The environmentalists are happy at plus 5%. Foreign relations goes up at plus 5%. Business confidence goes down at negative 4%. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation pollution on our hands if we do not act soon. Polls report your approval rating is disappointing. If we believe the polls you would get just 21% of the vote. Cabinet report loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Good news the global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Budget report we have a small budget deficit of 688.64 million euro which we will need to address at some stage. We have 15 political capital to spend. A direct payment from the state to disabled people to allow for the fact that they are possibly unable or need assistance to work. Additionally many disabled people have a special requirement in terms of transport or housing. Right now it is high. We are going to spend two political capital to lower this to medium and reduce spending of our government from 7.91 billion euro down to 6.90 billion euro. We will apply the changes. Pollution controls, restriction on what chemicals and emissions can be released into the atmosphere. Controls reduce pollution and increase health and possibly at the cost of economic competitiveness. Right now we have government targets. We are trying to fend off a possible pollution event. We are going to spend one political capital to increase this to restrictions and fines. We will apply the changes. We have 12 political capital to spend. Airline tax. Airline fuel has generally not been subject to taxation. Supporters of air fuel taxes insist that this results in unfair subsidy on an environmentally destructive form of transport. Airlines point out that taxing airline fuel will just encourage them to refuel elsewhere, thereby diverting funds from our economy. 
this is 68% popular with the vote. We are going to invest for political capital to increase this from 9% to 16%. We will apply the changes. We have a political capital to spend. Workers on boards unpopular with capitalists who fear workers will basically vote themselves higher pay and shorter hours. Socialists and trade unionists see this policy as ensuring a company works for its employees as well as its shareholders. This is 56% popular with the vote. We are having a problem with productivity in our country and it is contributing to our uncompetitive economy. Right now, workers on boards is high. We will spend five political capital to reduce this to medium. This will increase our working week. This will increase productivity. This will increase capitalism. We will apply the changes. We have three political capital to spend. Security services are an essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good, reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain and in many cases the methods employed can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. This is 1% popular with the vote but we need to address our internet crime and our organized crime as well as our crime in general. We will spend two political capital to increase our sizable spy agency. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Welfare fraud department when government gives so much money out in welfare payments is essential that the money is correctly targeted and not exploited by people making spurious claims. A dedicated fraud department will detect false claimants, recover lost money, and reassure middle-income taxpayers that their taxes are being spent wisely, although it can antagonize legitimate claimants. This is 64% popular with the vote. We are going to spend one political capital to increase our TV ad campaign. The income generated from this will be 418.65 million euro. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend, and thus we are at the end of the third term of our first year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our fourth term of our first year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. Mass sentencing. Hundreds of prisoners have been sentenced in a single hearing violating international standards of fair trial. The facts of each individual case cannot possibly have been properly considered during this travesty of justice. Credit ratings upgraded. The major international credit agencies have increased the credit worthiness of your government. This is great news. This should result in a lower interest rates of our debt and also may result in a boost to the GDP from higher level of confidence by foreign investors. This news is also likely to please capitalist voters. Your current credit rating is now triple A. The capitalists are happy at plus 5%. The GDP increases at plus 3% and business confidence is up at plus 15%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Multinational tax evasion on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. The budget has a 11.76 billion euro surplus each quarter which is great news the government is not popular amongst the citizens only 23 percent of them intend to vote for you in the next election economic forecast good news the global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our gdp cabinet report the loyalty of your ministers is best described as loyal their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate we have 15 political capital to spend judicial independence the separation of power is a model of governance that requires the state to be divided into independent branches of responsibility. The judiciary is made up of nation's courts of law which interpret and apply the legislation of the country. Judicial independence is subverted if other branches of government or private interests are allowed to exert influence over the courts. This is 100% popular with the vote. We are going to use five political capital to increase this. This will lower corruption. We will apply the changes. We have 10 political capital to spend. Alcohol abuse. We have a serious problem with people consuming alcohol in large quantities. This is obviously bad for their health, but it is also leading to crime and disorder in our cities. Police force. Every government needs to employ a police force to ensure order is kept and laws are obeyed, but it's a matter of debate exactly how much should be spent on the police. Some favor a large force with police on every street corner. Others prefer a more low-key and tolerant approach. This is 100% popular with the vote. This will lower our crime, our violent crime. This will reduce unemployment. This will reduce corruption. This will reduce our anti-social behavior and our alcohol abuse. We are going to spend a two political capital. Increase this to high. We'll apply the changes. We have a political capital to spend. Airline tax. Airline fuel is generally not been subject to taxation. Supporters insist that this results in an unfair subsidy on an environmentally destructive form of transport. Airlines point out that taxing airline fuel will just encourage them to refuel elsewhere, thereby diverting funds from our economy. This is 70% popular with the vote right now. Our airline tax is 16%. We are going to use 
for political capital to increase this to 23%. The income generated by this airline tax will be 2.34 billion euro. We will apply the changes. We have for political capital to spend. Unemployment benefit is a state benefit given to everyone who is able to work but cannot find employment. Socialists regard this as a minimum safety net for workers out of work because the whims of the economy. Some believe that high unemployment benefits distort the market and discourage people from seeking work. This is popular with the vote by 69%. We are going to spend for political capital to lower this. This will reduce the cost that the government pays down to 2.19 billion euro. This will affect the poor. This will affect poverty. This will increase capitalism. This will reduce unemployment. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our fourth term of our first year as Chancellor of Germany and thus we are at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.